place in Cuba fueled by the country's collapsing economy and the government's handling of the pandemic. Cuban President Miguel Diaz on Monday blamed U.S. sanctions for the crisis that triggered unprecedented anti-government protests in the country. In a live broadcast, he accused the United States of pursuing a policy of economic suffocation to provoke social unrest in the region. You block me, that you who carry out the policy that violates the human rights of an entire population for more than 60 years, intensified in the midst of a situation as complex as the pandemic, and you want to present yourself as the big savior, lift the blockade, lift the 243 measures, and we will see how we get along. Issuing a sharp warning to Cuban leaders against repressing anti-government protesters, President Biden signaled a more stern approach towards handling the ongoing crisis in Cuba. Biden on Monday said the United States stand firmly with the people of Cuba in their call for freedom. The Cuban people are demanding their freedom from an authoritarian regime. And I don't think we've seen anything like this protest uh, in a long, long time, if, if quite frankly ever. Um, and the United States stands firmly with the people of Cuba as they assert their universal rights. And we call on the government, the government of Cuba, to refrain from violence and our attempts to silence the voice of the people of Cuba. Speaking to reporters at the State Department on Monday, U.S. Secretary of State Antony Blinken said it would be wrong to blame United States for the historic protests in Cuba. Pushing back on Cuban officials' claims, he said the protesters were criticizing the country's rulers for failing to meet people's basic needs and not any economic sanction. Uh, it would be a grievous mistake for the Cuban regime to interpret what is happening in dozens uh, of towns and, and cities uh, across the island as the result or product of anything the United States has done. It would be a grievous mistake because it would uh, show that they uh, simply are not hearing the voices and will uh, of the Cuban people. Large contingents of Cuban police patrolled the capital of Havana on Monday following rare protests around the island nation on the weekend. Thousands of demonstrators took to the streets of Cuba on Sunday to protest against the government's handling of the COVID crisis, vaccine shortages and the country's dwindling economy. At least 100 protesters, activists and independent journalists had been detained nationwide since Sunday. The demonstrations, which are rare in Cuba, come as the country reports a record spike in COVID cases. The anti-government rallies started spontaneously in several cities as the country battled or battles its worst economic crisis in nearly 30 years.